Okay then, now I kind of rushed over this before, but I'm just going to review these vowels. You've got had, hard, um, and you can see here there's, there's a hard, at, and then slightly more open R sound. That works with the UK English, hard, hard in the US. Then you've got this hot, hot, right? Kind of slack, ot sound, but not very open. Uh, hot in the in the UK and hot in the US apparently for some speakers, um, if you believe that. And then you got store this kind of O which hasn't got a bit on the left, so it's a kind of open O. It's, it's more more open than the dog store. I kind of rushed over this before store. The store is over there. Store in the US, a little bit more open than the dog hot um, form. Um, so that's okay, I guess. Um, you know, is there much difference between those dog, dog? Right? That's kind of not very open. Oh, sound dog, very slack. Dog store, a bit more open, a bit more sort of rounded, we should say. Dog, dog in the U.S. I don't know. I'm not sure how to say that. Then you got foot, foot. Um, so it's a bit like the uh, Japanese u. Uh, Right, U sound, foot. Um, and then you've got this American form, very round O. Code, code, code. Apparently Americans say that, I'm not really sure. Um, in the UK it's code or code, I think. Right, And some American speakers have very round O with the U. Code, 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 uh, if you believe the Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary. So code in the UK and code in the US. And maybe there's other stuff in between in both the UK and the US. Got to keep your ears open, keep listening. But anyway, you get the idea with these uh, vowels. Cued, 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 cued. You can see the, the J, it's a Y sound, cued. And the, uh, the U there, is kind of um, a rounded ooh. Um, we've done this before, never, right? never, uh, uh, and then you get the difference between the upside down E and the upside down V is very small. Right? It seems that the upside down E, never, is not stressed, and the upside, upside down V, upper, is stressed. So apart from that, I can't really see much difference, it seems to be pretty much the same sound, upper. Upper. It's pretty much the same, isn't it? Uh, uh, upper. In the US, you'd get upper, upper. Right? Okay, then. So that's that. You can see some of these things are very similar. Uh, load, load, ode in the UK. And load in the US, apparently. Some speakers say that. I'm not really sure about that, to be honest, if you believe the uh, Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary. What about load? Load, fairly open. This seems all right to me, I don't know. Maybe you get speakers in both the UK and the US who speak like that. Who knows? Um, anyway. What about this? How do you say this? Her hair looks hot. Her hair looks hot. Her hair looks, or her hair, I would say her hair looks hot. Her hair looks hot. Um, and then probably Americans might say her hair looks hot. Her hair looks hot. Her hair looks hot. Okay, well, you know, maybe. Maybe something like that. Uh, depends on the speaker, really. What about this? Uh, meaning, mean the word that means an event of laughing is in the past. It's laughed. Laughed. I laughed. Some people say that in the UK. Sometimes I think I do. I laughed. Or you might not say that, you might say something else. The other possibility would be uh, that you'd say, you know, I laughed. So, for example, I laughed so loud. I laughed so loud. I laughed so loud. La I laughed so laughed is a possibility. But laughed is also a possibility. People say, it. people speak in different ways. Okay, then. So you've got word. Word, a symbolic entity used to communicate. Word, that's the UK pronunciation. And then in the American form, it's word. OK, 
Okay then. So what about this? What does that look like? I've forgotten the word. I've forgotten the word. I've forgotten the word. Okay, what about this? There's a sh, there's a a and a u. Sh, show, show. You might say, have you seen the show? 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 The stress at the beginning there, you see that? Have you seen the show? Or you could say, have you seen the show? Have you seen the show? Have you seen the show? You can see the vowel sounds change with different kinds of stress. Have you seen the show? So show, show, a bit more open perhaps. Show, I'm sure some people say, speak that way, with a slightly more open, rounded O. Um, what about that? Or that? How would you say that? With stress? What do you think? Any ideas? Show it to me, please. Show it to me, please. Show it to me, please. Or what about this? Could be... Show it to me, please. 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 Okay, what about this? this is an easy one. A place that is very close, well, it has, it's, an it's an adverb, has to be here. What about this? How do you say that? It's bring. Bring that. Bring that. Bring that television. Bring that television over here. 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 Okay, what about this? This is an easy one. Something to eat. It's a noun. What's that? Food. What about this? Act of using your mind. Should be easy. I'm not even going to tell you. Okay, what about this one? Um, a time before, not now. It's an adverb. Okay, and what's this? An object with a flat top. You can eat off it, I suppose. Should get that. It's table, I'll tell you. Table. Table. You can see the upside down E. Very small sound. Table. Hardly hear it. What about this one? Um, not giving you much information. Here we are. Someone who encourages a team. It's, um, it's a noun. What's that? What is it? Cheerleader. 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 See there's two upside down E's there? Uh, uh, cheerleader. And they're not stressed. Cheerleader. So someone who encourages a team. Cheerleader. Okay, you should be getting the hang of these now. What about this one? A stick to catch water animals. For fish, fish, fishing, 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 fishing rod. Fishing rod. Did you get that? Fishing rod. What about this one? A handheld device for communicating orally. Mo, 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 mobile phone. Mobile phone. Mobile phone. Um, the secondary stress, mobile, and then phone as a hard stress. What about some funny British words? Okay. What about that? Do you know how you say that? Clothes worn over the legs. What is that? It's a noun. It's trousers. Trousers. Okay, what about this one? Very tired or useless. Very tired or useless adjective. How do you say that? Na, na, na. Knackered. 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 Okay, what about this one? This is very sad, very sad. G, 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 
can see the stress with the upside down V there. Gutted, 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 and very sad or disappointed. Okay then, so that's all right. Um, what about this one? Capital city of, of the UK. That should be obvious, it's London, London. Notice that the upside down V has stress, London. Pretty much the same sound, though, isn't it? London, London. It's not London, it's London, London. What's the difference? Uh, uh, London, there isn't any difference, is there, really? Just stress on the first one and not on the second one. What about this? Very shocked, adjective meaning very shocked. Adjective meaning very shocked, gobsmacked gobsmacked. Did you work that one out? What about this one? A mistake. What's that? Cock, cock up. Cock up. Cock up. It's a cock up. Cock up. Cock up. I suppose that off oh, sound isn't very uh, round. What about this? Something great. Something great. The, 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 uh, there shouldn't be a period there. Actually, it's a mistake. The bee's knees. The bee's knees. The stress is on the first... Um, the bee part, the bee's knees, the bee's knees. Okay then, so that's that. Um, well done. What about this one? To vomit. This one means to vomit. And it's ch 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 chunder, chunder, chunder. And what about this one? To make a fool of someone. It's a verb. Take. Take the, take the, take the piss, take the piss. The stress is on the piss part. Take the piss it means to make a fool of someone. What about this one? This is very common. It's nonsense, an adjective. Ba, 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 ba. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. So it means nonsense. Okay, now here's another one. Uh, very common, illegal or somehow wrong. It's an adjective. Do, 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 dodgy, 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 dodgy. Okay, there it is, dodgy. Uh, what about this? An argument or fight, a noun. Kafuffle, 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 kafuffle. An argument or fight, a kafuffle. And that's how you spell it if you're interested. Kerfuffle. What about this? A useless person, noun. Wa 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 wanka. 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 Okay, there is. Wanka. Okay, you should be getting the hang of this now. Um, rubbish or nonsense. Tosh is that kind of slack. O sound. To with a sh. Tosh. 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 That's tosh. That's a load of tosh. And here's how you spell it. Tosh. It's not really British, actually. It's American as well, I think. And what about this one? This is kind of British, I think. Cool or no problem. Adjective. Everything is. Hung. Hunky. Hunky. Hunky dory. Yeah, okay. Maybe that uh, hunky dory. That's quite a round or hunky dory. Hunky dory. Cool. No problem. Hunky dory, hunky dory, everything's hunky dory. We actually speak like that. Okay, look at these uh, vowel sounds then. Uh and uh, they're pretty much the same, aren't they? Can't see much difference really. It just seems that the upside down V, the second one, appears where there's stress, but it's pretty much the same sound as far as I can see. So, you know, it's up to you. Any real difference? Not really, it's just a matter of stress, it seems, as far as I can tell. Um, and then you get things like ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. this is an ah uh sound, like dog, dog, da, da, but it's not very round, it's kind of slack, and this is a bit more round, ah, uh, store, ah, uh, ah, uh. and then you get this very round one, which Americans use apparently, cood, cood, uh, if you believe the Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary. So anyway, it seems to come down to a matter of roundness, perhaps. Um, but, you know, keep listening, keep thinking. Well done. Keep practicing. You'll get there.